Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kowei, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at the new Oppenheimer official trailer. Thanks so much for joining us. If you haven't already, please do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. If you're wondering where the heck we are, we are still in Colorado. Uh, my brother just got married yesterday. Yay, congrats. And that was a very, very, very fun event. Hopefully, there'll be a video uh, made by John Humphrey with all the footage that we shot because <laughs> there was a lot of footage leading up to and the wedding itself. But anyway, that's not what you're here for. You are here for Oppenheimer reaction. So uh, here we go. Let's jump into this. We imagine a future. And our imaginings horrify us. Wow. It's his face. They won't fear it. Until they understand it. And they won't understand it. Until they've used it. Take you only so far. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. But we have no choice. Bumps. I wonder if this is the kind of film that the masses can enjoy because <laughs> it's like it's all based on this guy's experience of creating a, a crazy, crazy weapon and then his regret of that weapon. You it, can see that already in in Killian Murphy's performance. Right. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of like visualization that's happening. I, I don't know if it's like in his mind, kind of like uh, what's it called? Qu Queen's Gambit, mm -hmm. you know, where she could kind of see the chess pieces yeah. or if the visuals that we're watching are tests being conducted or just a mixture of the two. But to me, it strikes me as something that's going on in his mind as a visualization to the result of these equations that he's creating. Right. Sure. And so it's like it's there's this like sort of joy that you see these high level mathematicians and physicists talking about what they do. Right. And it's like they get it and they can see all this stuff playing out, but we're just like, Durr. and so the movie like this could help us see what they see yeah. as sort of a visualization. But even with that in mind, it's like how many people want to pay 20 bucks to go watch that? In you know, IMAX, I yeah. definitely want to. Yeah. I know I want to. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of like science enthusiasts out there. I think it also depends on the bankability of uh, Christopher Nolan as well. Mm. I feel like he's a he's a very famous director. Now, Tenet, I didn't love. And I don't know how well received that was by the general public. But I mean, I think that there would be enough people who would be interested in a Christopher Nolan movie just off of that alone yeah hopefully yeah but i mean i found this uh, trailer to be incredibly moving I, I don't know why i just kind of feel like crying just watching killian murphy's performance like i've always loved him ever since like it's been a very long time i've been watching him since he kind of came onto the scene and i, I think he's such a fantastic actor he's so versatile just kind of looking at the nuances in his acting here where you can see in his eyes that he knows he's on the verge of something really dangerous and there's that like that fear that regret but also like okay maybe i have to push forward with this and he's looking like a man with the weight of the world on his shoulders i feel all of that just by looking at this trailer yeah i feel like this is actually a story we've heard multiple times through the last century where you have these scientists who are like creating this epic weapons and then they regret creating those weapons it's yeah like, well that's not really what their target was 
Right. Their target was something else, but they end up getting pulled into these conflicts and creating these weapons of mass destruction, basically. Because so, you can use that energy for, you for, know, for good. clean energy. Yes. Yeah. Um, in fact, that's something that's been the talk of the town lately. We, we just had a major breakthrough. I don't fully understand it myself. All I understand is when you break it down, you're getting more energy out than you put in. It's like, that's the breakthrough. Okay. I think it's either called nuclear fission or nuclear fusion. I, I haven't done my research on it, but okay. these are the beginning stages of that. This, this, right. this kind of stuff. What's striking me more than anything is what you said, the emotional factor of what this guy has to go through and the regret he has to carry his entire life and exposing what's happened. Even just what he said, it's like they won't understand it until they use it. Okay. You know, that that's incredibly powerful. It's like he knows. Yeah. He knows. I'm sure all the scientists knew. But until you actually see the devastation that it can wreak, then you're like, well, shit. Like, yeah. we created a so, devastating weapon. So that emotional factor is one of the things drawing me in, as well as the stunning visuals. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to see something like that on IMAX is just... To me, is wonderful. I mean, you're getting a mixture of a lot of things there because you're getting something that's wonderful to look at in yeah. IMAX, but you're also getting like this upsetting thing at the same yeah. time. I mean, I think it's a... I personally think it's a, it's brave of Christopher Nolan to take on this particular project and try his best to make it as inviting and interesting as possible so that m a lot of people want to see it. Because there's a lot of people afraid of the word nuclear, you know? Right. And to help us understand it. And it's like, okay, these are the pros and these are the very obvious cons but those pros are very much worth fighting for um and i feel like that might be an angle um that is being approached or uh, you know in this movie right because isn't the tagline something like in order to save the world he holds the, he has the power to destroy it or he, he must destroy it or something like that there's something about like because because it is right the whole the whole idea behind the atomic bomb was in order to stop the war, mm -hmm. you have this super powerful weapon to show, you know, how much power you have. And and once they dropped those bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the Japanese were just like, well, yeah, we're done. Well, I didn't love Tenet. Uh, Christopher Nolan generally, you know, strikes a home run for me. I'm often conflicted with his movies. He makes like, I, I heard someone once say he makes the best flawed movies ever. And <laughs> because he really does. Like he makes these amazing movies that are very, very clearly flawed, but they're so interesting and so compelling and so much fun to watch. Yeah. Um, now, this movie doesn't look particularly fun, but it definitely looks damn interesting. Yeah, you know he's I mean? definitely got like a thing for World War Two, I think, you know, with, like with Dunkirk. Oh, yeah. And then now with this, you know, telling a, a different part of the story. And I mean, it took me a minute to appreciate Dunkirk. But which I, once I realized like what he was going for, I was like, cool. So I'm, I'm interested to see his take on this because I think, you know, say what you will about Christopher Nolan. He's definitely he's got his style, he's visionary, like he knows what he wants to go for and it's always interesting even if you might not enjoy it initially. Sure. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. Thanks again. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.